Swiss universities regularly rank among the best in the world and also attract a high number of international students and researchers. But how exactly does the Swiss higher education system work? We'll walk you through it. First, we'll tell you about the different types of Swiss universities and explain how to access the university system. Then, we'll explain how international students fit into this system. There are three types of universities in Switzerland. We have traditional universities that you would find elsewhere in the world. There are 12 of them, 10 cantonal, plus the two prestigious Federal Institutes of Technology, one in Lausanne, EPFL, and one in Zurich, ETH Zurich. These two regularly rank high in international surveys. Each year, more than 150,000 students enroll at these universities to learn theory, analysis, and research methodology. The bachelor's degree takes three years and opens the door to a master's degree, which usually takes another two years. After that, there are PhDs, which can take around four years. Then there are the Universities of Applied Sciences and Arts. There are nine of them. These special Swiss universities are more practical and industry-oriented. Some degree programmes, like landscape architecture, and some health sciences, arts and music degrees can be taken only at these institutions. Internships are usually part of the curriculum. Students obtain bachelor's and master's degrees, but not usually PhDs. Swiss universities of applied sciences and arts attract around 95,000 students a year, mostly from a vocational training background. We'll look at the entry conditions a bit further on. The third type are universities of teacher education, which train teachers from pre-primary to upper secondary level, as well as teachers for children with disabilities. There are 20 of them, and they are attended by around 20,000 students a year. Switzerland also has a non-university tertiary level education, offering high-level qualifications for qualified apprentices. This is another Swiss speciality and allows people to deepen their knowledge and management skill. It is well established in fields like nursing and IT, but its programmes and qualifications are less known abroad, particularly in countries without dual vocational education and training programmes. So, how can people access all these great universities? You probably think the Swiss higher education system is quite complicated, and rightly so. But it's also very flexible, meaning there are many ways to access one of these three university types. And you can also change paths along the way. The first major crossroad comes at the end of the compulsory schooling, at around age 15. Around two-thirds of school leavers take the apprenticeship route, under the Swiss dual-track approach, students combine learning on the job and being paid a learning wage with one or two days of theory at school. It's a system that's often held up as the gold standard in vocational training internationally. Choosing an apprenticeship doesn't close off universities' doors. By finishing their training with a federal vocational baccalaureate, apprentices can get into a University of Applied Sciences, for example. An extra exam, called Passerelle, will take them to a traditional university. The remaining third of school leavers, there's high school, the fastest track to a university. Here, pupils graduate with a Swiss baccalaureate, the school leaving certificate, which gives them access to all traditional universities. There are also specialised high schools, which offer a middle way, school-based preparation for higher level professional education in fields like the arts and healthcare. The Swiss education system is generally very open. Anyone who has the necessary qualifications can attend the course and university of their choice. Vocational education and training is, however, subject to some restrictions due to the limited number of apprenticeship positions. At some universities, access to specific subjects like medicine is also limited. Swiss universities attract a high number of foreign students, largely due to their good reputation. During the 2022-2023 academic year, these made up just over a third of all students. According to the Times Higher Education rankings for 2023, the two Federal Institutes of Technology, ETH Zurich and EPFL, are the most international universities in the world, behind the University of Hong Kong. 
masters and PhDs are particularly popular among foreign students. According to the OECD, foreign students accounted for 58% of doctoral graduates in 2020, compared to just 27% among OECD countries. The most popular choice among international students in Switzerland, natural sciences and engineering. Switzerland's low study fees also play a role in attracting students from abroad. Some universities charge slightly more for international students, but overall you can expect to pay between 500 and 2,000 francs in tuition fees per semester. However, living expenses in Switzerland are high. Swiss admission requirements are relatively straightforward for foreign students. A student visa for those who come from outside most of Europe might be required, and a good grasp of the language of instruction, which can be German, French or Italian, is key. For some graduate programmes, the language of instruction is English. Oh, Martin, where are my gloves? They aren't here. Perhaps they are in your house. No, no, perhaps they are in your house. Per perhaps they are in your house. However, Swiss higher education is facing some challenges. In 2021, Switzerland was excluded from Horizon Europe, the European Union's flagship research programme. This followed non-EU Switzerland's decision to pull the plug on a draft treaty, binding it more tightly to the European bloc. Swiss universities have warned of serious consequences if the country continues to be excluded from the top table of EU research and research funding. Switzerland has also not been a full participant in Erasmus+, Plus, the European Student Exchange Programme, since 2014. This was a consequence of a controversial vote to reintroduce immigration quotas for EU citizens. Students in Switzerland really want to get back into the scheme. Student unions have handed in several petitions over the years. The Swiss government says its aim is re-association with both Horizon Europe and Erasmus+. Plus. But for now, the situation remains hampered by the ongoing political stalemate.